Hi everyone, it's Mario Maroni here. We are again with Jake. This is the third time I'm seeing him. Jake mainly has a lower back pain and sciatica, also suffer from neck. And he reported recently, um, it's not recent, it's something it's that- a, For a while, yeah, I've had um, a tightness in my sternum and just in, in my right side of my chest that can sometimes go through to my shoulder blade. And it's if I'm taking deep breaths or if I'm say smoking or something like that. Okay, also, as I told you before, he had a massive injury. He, he broke the nose, but also he had a massive injury. He fell in from the stair. He broke the occipital bone more on this side. Now, I already uh, had the check today, and this is my findings. Uh, checking the skull very, very clearly, there is a mobility. So the skull is doing something like this. It's moving toward this area. Now, you need to know, this area of the neck, right side, is the brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is a bunch of nerve that goes mainly to innervate all this area and all the harm. Now, he had a, an operation on the shoulder when he was 14, so this is one of the, the oldest injury that he got on his body. If I try to bend his neck toward the right and toward the left, Okay, it's painful, but also it doesn't move. Okay, now try to see the difference when I try to push down the shoulder. This is very, very relevant because the shoulder, if it's true that the brachial plexus has a restriction, as an irritation, the shoulder won't go down. I already checked, so I know the outcome. This is the, the left one, and this is the right one. Now I want to zoom in a little bit because maybe this is quite interesting. This is quite interesting. Okay, so this is the mobility of the left shoulder and this is the right one. So the right one, if I try to push, it's like if something blocked me from doing it. And also, look at the neck, look at the head. The head is pulled over this side, Why? on this one there is no mobility. So it's like if there is a traction a pull from the from the shoulder down so this area doesn't move the neck doesn't bend on the left so i already know i already know from the test on the scar this is the area that i need to to check let me zoom out okay To confirm, what do I do? I need to check which area of the black brachial plexus is involved. It could have been the collarbone, it could have been some other area. The pec, in this case, if I'm here, and here I already know there is an operation, okay? There is an operation on the shoulder. Can you show this, these things, this varicose vein? Can you go uh, close? Can you stop it? So he has this, how do you call it? Varicose veins? Almost yeah. like varicose veins, yeah. Okay. And you had these things for a while. Okay, you can return. You had these things for a while, yeah? yeah? So he said he connected with, uh, with playing rugby. Now, this part, all nine radio, is completely fine. There is nothing there, and that's a very, very, very common area of injury. In this case, the injury is very, very clear. It's on the shoulder. Okay, I need to treat it again. What my treatment involves? When I'm here, I feel a mobility. Every single area of your body moves and it has to have a, an intrinsic and rhythmic motion. So rhythmic motion means that whatever it does on a way, it has to return back. So the body is never completely straight. Your limb does rotation, internal, external. The spine goes up and down, let's say. In this case, what do I feel? I feel that my hand on the top of the neck and my hand here, let's say on the biceps area, they move toward each other. So this is an, a compression. So there will be a nerve sensitization on the brachial plexus right side. And this is what is going 
to, to be the goal of my treatment, to release the spine. So what do I need to achieve? An increased mobility on the right side flexion of the neck, the shoulder needs to go down more. Also, this area, which is very restricted, is connected with the dorsal, dorsal lumbar spine. That's why a lot of people from an injury on the arm have lower back pain. If I move this side and this side, this side moves a lot better. So left to right, let's say the lower part of the ribcage or the lumbar spine, but it's easier to take it here. It moves a lot more toward the right, but right to left is a lot, lot more stiff. It doesn't move at all, okay? And that's another thing that I like to show the patient because it has to, it has to change at the end of the session. So it's never important, the pain. It doesn't have pain, okay? Yes, there's things here, but it doesn't have a lot of pain around there. But definitely the body wants me to start from the brachial plexus. I'm here. I feel a compression, I follow the compression till a point in which you will release. I try to show the, the treatment today. I hope it's not too long. So it's very, 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 very easy to feel the neck and the head, which is going down like that. Now we will stay like this for, for a while. The treatment is very light. Basically hold the position. It looks like I'm not doing anything but I just need to follow something that is already happening and just bring it to a release. So the body basically released by its own. I just need to, to be a facilitator. Let's put it this way, okay? Take a deep breath. Again. Do you, do you have any feeling of the difference? Oh yeah, I feel the difference. I don't feel any pain. Okay, no, 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 not the pain. The stiff. Do you feel it goes, it goes down? This part is connected with this part. So the cervical thoracic spine can affect a lot the thoracic lumbar spine. So this side, it should move better. You feel it? Mm -hmm. I zoom a little bit and I redo the test. Uh, the feeling of uh, uh, an improvement around here, I mean, it, it's very slight because we need to remember here the fracture on the occipital bone, which is very close to this part that I, that I treated. So it's important to retest because if the test do not change, obviously nothing happens. So this is the shoulder on the left, which is more solid now. Before it was moving a lot, this one, and nothing here. Now, this one, one, and this one, two. So this one moves a lot more now on the right side, okay? And also the neck is very important. It does this movement here. Okay, so I already know there is a change. This is already one successful treatment. This is a successful treatment. I would, at this point, 
retest everywhere. It didn't last a lot because the brachial plexus is quite easy to, uh, to relieve, even if it was a, an operation, which is usually is a big injury, but it, it wasn't very, very hard to release. And now I should feel something different. Again, he has a fracture on the occipital bone. It's a massive, massive, massive injury. He lost the sense of smell and part of the sense of taste. He also said by playing rugby, he had a lot of little injury. This, uh, as he called it, varicose vein that you saw on the shoulder. He said he had also on the rib and any other part on the back? On the wrist and on the top of the neck. Yeah. On the top of the neck, okay, okay. On the, on the rib, etc. Now, this part moves a lot, a lot more than before. This part is hard. Why? Uh, Two options, or there is an injury also there, which was less important than this one, but now it is, or it's something else completely different that twists the body and makes this area don't move in properly. But do you feel the difference now? Yeah. This one is definitely harder than this one, and before it was completely the opposite. This is a good point because things are changing. If there is no change, you didn't receive any treatment, okay? So, to say something changed, you need to do test, you need to have objective. We call it objective. So something that before and after change. Now here's a here's an injury here. Let's see. Okay, this is very interesting. Uh, we'll wait a bit, but this is very interesting. Take a deep breath. Still not the skull. So when I touch the skull, the skull does something like this. He may be a rib on the left side. Now he said he had this varicose vein on the on the rib. Now you want to show? Yeah. Ah, okay. Is this little thing here? I don't know if you can see it. Seems a little thing, okay? It doesn't seem anything major, but it doesn't matter. We need to understand, in this case, the rib. It looks like it's a rib because the this part now changed completely. So before this one was more stiff. This one now is rock solid which is also the case of a rib, not only of the brachial plexus. Now, let's check. There are many ways to confirm an injury on the rib. One, you just move the rib up. You just push it up. Do you feel any specific injury? No. Yeah, any, any tightness? Yeah, like it's just up at the top a little bit. Okay, but it's not a big thing. Not around here, no. Oh, the rib. That's a bit sore. Yeah, this one is a little bit sore. Now, let's compare this one. No with, pain. Okay. But yeah, on the left side, yes, not on the right. Okay, you feel? Now, this one doesn't move at all, and this one moves a lot. You feel? This mm. one, and mm. this one doesn't bend. Now, another confirmation, when you have a problem on the rib, you basically, what you do, you grab the spine. If I want to test the rib on the left, I grab the spine and push toward, the, and I pull it toward the right. It won't come, okay? So if I'm here, I grab the spine and I pull it toward me. Here, moves on the lower part. Give me a bit of space. Okay, return back, relax completely. You feel, it you feel the mobility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just relax, relax. Put your weight on. Yeah. Little bit here, little bit. 
I need to understand if it's a rib. Yeah, that's painful. Okay, just relax. This one is it's painful. But so this area doesn't work properly. Okay. Other test. Another test. But this one, not many can do it. I just put my hand and I try to feel the mobility of the, the rib. They, they do something like this. They move, they open a little bit, but they go up and down mainly. Okay, okay, so when I touch, what I feel is something moving up like this. On a woman, it's possible to do this test from the back, okay? It's the same thing. Now, if I go, uh, probably something around here. Did you have any injury, any scar here? Not here, here, here. it felt uh, quite painful for a long time. On this side, no. This side, no, but the rib, unfortunately, they don't work on the other one, which is very common. So you have one side that is stuck, and the other side, that because it's twisted, it's dislocated, give you pain. Okay, now, try to feel this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you feel a lot more tender on this side. It's like rib, so rib and right rib. Lots and lots of injury. When I put my hand here, my hand does something like this. It moves toward the, the top, okay? The innervation of the rib, obviously, is the uh, connected thoracic spine. So I just need to understand which one. And this ex perfectly explain why the shoulder, the left shoulder now, after the treatment on the right side, the left shoulder doesn't move down at all. It's another injury, less important than the previous one, on the right shoulder, but still an injury. I want also to check if it is. Oh. And here? No. So this side released, there is also the option that there's another similar injury like this one on the other arm, which it won't be here because it, it didn't have any, an operation, but it may be anywhere else on the arm. So there is not all, only the rib, there is also to check all the arm. Take a deep breath. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, there is an injury here. Take a deep breath, and this part is okay. Now, how do I, how can I tell? First, I confirm to myself, because when I grab the bo both radio and ulna, and uh, in this area here, the, uh, the elbow, and I ask him to breathe, it's like if the arm, it can press in this way, so. Take the breath. Okay, it's doing the same. So this brings me a little bit away from the rib. The rib weren't very positive. Now, you feel here? Mm. Now, let's compare. Obviously, we need always to compare with the other side. Put your hand like that. Do you feel the difference? Mm, yeah, there. Okay. There. Mm. Okay. So, in between the two bones, there is a membrane. It's called interosseous membrane. A lot of people, even someone who plays the piano or someone who does a manual job, this is extremely, extremely common. It's not here, it's on the other side. Now, this is the pronation and this is the supination. Okay. Now, if I do this, You feel the difference? It's just tight on the road. Okay. 
you feel how tight it is. Uh, what is this one? What is that's, this? Oh, that's a burn. Okay, F stop. So he has a burn exactly where I found the. I didn't see it. This makes sense because it's exactly on the area which is involved. So I don't know if you can see it, but here there is a burn. Okay, so if I grab the hand and I try to go in between the two bones here, at some point he is, is you feel it, mm. yeah? Extremely hard. If I do it on the other one, you mm. think? I can enter a lot. So this is an injury and it needs an, another treatment, the same, the same way. How old is this one? Um, 16, 17? <laughs> No, this is this was in an accident in a, in a, uh, a nightclub where I, oh, okay. I, I ended up landing on a um, or putting my elbow on a cigarette ah, on okay. the side and it just burnt through there. Okay, so it burned with a cigarette. Um, more or less, ten years or less? Uh, yeah, it's probably twenty twenty twelve. So twenty twelve, eight years. Eight year. Again, I want to show you the mobility because it's very, very important that you understand the most interesting things of the rehabilitation. Your butt needs to, to change. Moves now completely, it's completely stuck. Okay, and before, when I started today, it was completely the opposite. It was the, the right side to be stuck. Okay, now, Basically, I will do the same. I will stay like that, probably for a while. I will feel a release, and the shoulder needs to move down, and the neck needs to be able to, to be moved the other way. This injury, can you go on the other side? Yep. These injuries are extremely common, and frequently you don't give any, any importance to them. You don't remember, you don't recall, you don't care, you forget. But sometimes you don't know there is an injury because it's just a, a overuse. So it's typical of a manual worker, but also if you play a piano, for example, if you're a pianist, you will have both of them, 100%. If you do rock climbing, you can imagine. So the video stopped due to the 30 minutes limitation that I have on my camera. Again, big restriction here on the neck, on the left side now, after I treat the other one. I find out something here, and then I looked, and there is a burn. Okay, it burned the, um, this part of the forearm with a cigarette. It seems stupid, but then what this thing's caused, there are a massive restriction of mobility and an irritation on this area. So the goal is, I treat here, and the shoulder goes down, okay? Which now doesn't. Let's do it. It will be the same treatment, you won't see anything. Hard to believe, but the important are the results. So in this position, ulna and radio, they are kind of a compressing on themselves. Okay, so there is an irritation or of their innervation on the neck, and this makes all the area which that part of the neck innervates, which is mainly this one, to compress. Okay, so it's like if all this area now has an injury, and so it doesn't move properly.
the difference? Mm. It moves back. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's zoom in a little bit. So now, right and left. The left shoulder moves down a lot more. And here on the neck, there is also a, an improvement. This is the right and this is the left. So the neck today improved a lot. Injury here, injury on the forearm on the left side. Completely different injury, completely different uh, date when the injury occur but there is a pattern that is always presenting itself so the the oldest injury are usually the most important so this one was very old this one was eight years ago in 2012 and the fracture of the skull is 2013 so one year after so a little burn here i can feel it more than a fracture of the skull Probably next time I will need to approach or there or something else. I, I may find some other injury that it doesn't remember, okay? This one was a very, very clear, connected with the restriction on the brachial plexus left side, blockage here, and obviously compression, which now I don't, I don't feel it anymore. Remember, this one was more hard. Mm. So the supination of the left arm before this treatment was extremely hard, now improved. So improvement, improvement, improvement. For today is enough, it's been mm, an hour, mm. probably around an hour, and I will see you next time for mainly the treatment on the head. Thanks for watching.